Hello guys, this is Mauro from PrintInfoTech.com and in this video I want to show you how to create an installation media for your Windows 8.1. Uh, if you if you bought a Windows 8.1 machine and you have a custom or if you have a custom installation of the operating system, uh, you know it is a big inconvenience to recover if you lose the uh, recovery disks. And Microsoft now has acknowledged that uh, this is actually a problem and is making uh, easier for users to get the uh, installation media for Windows 8.1 so you can recover quickly and easily. Oh, and for those uh, custom installations and uh, and you want to recover from the uh, uh, Windows 8.1 recovery options, now this is like an official fix for that uh, insert media. Some uh, files are missing, uh, message that users uh, are getting trying to uh, refresh and restart the operating system. So I just want to show you that uh, now you can get uh, uh, your own bits so you don't have to resource to uh, work arounds or, or you know or getting a disk uh, some other way. So I just want to show you that uh, uh, how to do this uh, for your Windows 8.1 machine. So the first thing you have to do is go to the uh, create installation media for Windows 8.1. I'm going to put the link on the uh, on the notes for this video, so make sure to follow that link. And basically, all, all you have to do is uh, come to this page and create a, a click create media button, and then you will get an um, uh, uh, executable program that uh, would allow you to to get the uh, the bits. So once you download it, you're going to get this program, and then just uh, choose uh, your settings. In this case, my set is an English edition. I'm going to get the uh, Windows 8.1, but you can choose a different uh, versions. The end version is uh, more for the European side uh, region, uh, where they're not, uh, where Microsoft not allowed to pack the um, uh, um, uh, Windows Media Player and other software. In, in, that it can be included on the operating system, but you can load it later. But uh, that's not our, our case. So in my case, I'm just going to download Windows 8.1. And very important to make sure that uh, you choose the correct architecture. So what that means is you need to choose between uh, the 32-bit uh, version or the 64. I know I have 64, but if you if you don't know, go to the uh, go to the start uh, button, um, and do a right click, and then go to System. And let me show you right here, and you will see the uh, system type 64 bit, and that's how you find out what version you need. Okay, so once you choose all your settings, click next and choose uh, how do you want to save the installation files. I personally like to save as an ISO because I can use it in many other, many other ways. And I can later on create a USB media without having to re-download the uh, the files. So for me, this is the easiest way to uh, to keep the uh, the installation file for Windows 8.1. Then click Next, and you're gonna get uh, um, the ISO file. Just uh, save it where, uh, in a location that you remember for later use. Then click Save. And then this, the uh, the download will start. So I will pause the video, and I'm gonna come back when this is finished. Okay, the process has finished. It might take a while, depending on the uh, and your internet connection, and but it doesn't take too long. Mine took like about like five seven minutes, and it's a uh, it's a quite large file. It's about 3.2 gigabytes, and when you open the um, the ISO, you will get all the installation files. Now you can use this to to upgrade uh, your Windows um, uh, your Windows 7 or Windows 8. But Microsoft recommends that if you have Windows 8 to go through the uh, uh, to go through the process through the uh, through the Windows Store to update uh, to Windows 8.1. But you can use this to move uh, Windows 7. Uh, to Windows 8, but it will require for you to enter uh, a product key for the upgrade. 
and that that's all now you can just you know burn this uh, into a dvd and you know and just uh do your normal installation just insert the uh uh, the DVD into your uh, DVD drive and your system and continue installation like always that simple then just uh, when when you finish just click finish here to to finish and that's all you have to do well thank you for watching I hope this video was informative for you